Hello, hello, happy hump day. Let me give it just a few seconds to see if some folks hop on. I was so excited to be invited to speak to you guys today. Yay. It's always fun talking to new people. <laughs> so not to take too long, I'll go ahead and introduce myself. My name is Dawn Robinson, and I am a fairly new premiere as of October, November, <laughs> so pretty recently, but not that, not that very long, but I was asked to come talk to you guys about incentives because I did earn the Good Vibes incentive where we ended up going to Cancun back in September. Um, so before I was even a premiere, and kind of how I did that, and how I'm planning on doing this next incentive for Jamaica, which I'm super, super excited about. So first, a little bit about myself. So I am in San Antonio, Texas. I have three kids, one's an adult and grown. I have two at home, 10 and 12 and married three dogs <laughs> pretty normal house um, i do work full-time i'm a civil engineer and construction manager so posh has been my kind of side hobby and i've been with posh to just over four years so my four-year mark was in december good morning welcome Bole. yes hi ashley so, um, new premiere, I was not a premiere at the start of the Good Vibes Incentive last year or the year before. It actually started the year before it ended last year though. Um, so get this, I was a pink plus one when the Good Vibes Incentive started. <laughs> it's crazy to think about now because it was literally this time last year so last january we were right in the middle we were at the midpoint of the incentive for the good vibes incentive and i was still a pink plus one <laughs> as a pink plus one i had already been with posh three years at this point okay i had been with posh three years i was a pink plus one we were already halfway through the Good Vibes Incentive, and I was determined to earn that cruise, which ended up being a trip to Cancun. Um, so how did I do that? <laughs> so the Good Vibes Incentive was a little bit different than the Jamaica Incentive that we have now, mainly in that it was five months long. So it was a fairly long incentive. I know in the four years I've been here, I think that's the longest one we've had, like most of them have been a three month a three month incentive so five was like crazy pants they announced it um like in the fall of 19 it went until march so it was a crazy long incentive that one required twenty thousand points to earn the trip hi ginger so Good Vibes was 20, so double the amount of points that's required for Jamaica. But again, much longer timeline. We have five, we had five months for that incentive versus the three months for this one. So I was only a pink plus one. And, and that was after three years with Posh, right? Like I said, I'm only doing this part time. I'm a little bit of a turtle. <laughs> but I will say people think that only leaders earn these trips and that is absolutely not true i was so happy to see that ginger who is on now um actually spoke to you guys yesterday because i was really actually nervous going on the trip because i wasn't sure how many people we ended up not going on the trip until six months after the incentive right which was kind of a long time so you would think a lot of people even if they weren't a leader um, you know, premier or above at the time of the incentive. If they're an incentive earner, you would kind of think after that long they would be on that track and maybe be a leader. 
And so I was kind of nervous going on the trip, thinking I would be like the only non-premier there. And that was absolutely not the case. Ginger wasn't a premier. Um, my roommate that I ended up rooming with, not a premier. Um, so, you know, people earn these trips that are not premier leaders. Now, I'm not going to say it's easy because it's absolutely not. You have to work to earn an incentive. <laughs> Otherwise, everybody would get it, right? I mean, there, there, it wouldn't be the point of an incentive if just anybody can earn it. You, you have to do some work and you have to do some planning. At least for me, like I said, I'm an engineer, so I'm all about planning. And I'm going to share with you kind of like how I plan for these incentives. Now, this is obviously not the Good Vibes incentive wasn't even the first incentive that I had worked on because I had been with Posh three years before that. But it was pretty obvious the first couple of incentives that I was a part of that I wasn't where I needed to be to earn the incentive back then. And what do I mean by that? So one of my um, incentive, not incentive, like accountability. One of my accountability buddies, her name is Denny. She also earned the good vibes incentive. We earned it together. We were both pink plus ones starting in the incentive, but we had actually started working towards that incentive more than a year before that, when the incentive, be, I don't even remember what the incentive before that one was, but whatever that one was, and we were working towards it, and we're like, we couldn't really see a realistic way how we could earn that incentive, and so we're like, okay, well, what would we need to do in order to set ourselves up to earn it? And one of the things was is to start building a team, right? The now, you obviously do not need a team to earn these incentives. People earn these incentives just in sales. And particularly this one, I think that is 100% doable with just sales if you are a power seller. But it does ease the load on yourself if you have a team. But you have to recruit in, in order to do that. And that's really intimidating to a lot of people, myself included, right? So we started doing that and building our teams, but I want to say even at the Good Vibes Incentive, it wasn't like a huge team. I had maybe, I think I started that incentive with five or six people on my team. So, which for a pink plus one, that's kind of what you're expecting, right? For a pink plus one, like maybe five or six people to start. Not a huge amount, so I'm like, okay, well, what do I need to do? But even more so, at this point, I was in my, a position in my posh journey that I was looking to do more and to actually grow a team. So I used the Good Vibes Incentive as kind of a launching point to really do that, and I knew that I was going to have to grow a team to get to where I wanted to be. So I am going to post these as images in this these comments but after I get done with here because I wasn't prepared enough to this morning <laughs> to get that done ahead of time so I'm gonna kind of read this off and then I will like kind of post this in the comments after I get off of here so let me find so this is how I plan for incentives y'all and this is not gonna I'm on an Android device so this is gonna look flipped but I literally create a draft email in Gmail, all right? This is my organization system, and some people think it's like a hot mess, but it works for me. I do all my planning as draft emails. <laughs> so in Gmail, I probably have a good 30 draft emails in my drafts in Gmail. And the reason why I do that is that I can access it from my work computer, from my phone, from my home computer, from my iPad, wherever. I can access that, right? And Google saves it all. I can attach things to it. I can attach pictures and PDFs and documents and, you know, so I love it for planning. So I always do a draft email. And so what I do when I start the incentive to start is I copy and paste into a new draft email and I'll have the subject line be the incentive information. So like for this one, I just put incentive 2019, you know, but you would put like good vibes or like for now it'd be 
Jamaica Me Crazy. But instead of 2019, and the very first thing I post and I copy and paste into that draft email is I copy and paste from the newsroom that has the table with how to earn points and then the prizes, right? So this is like, and you're not going to be able to see this, but how I kind of did the table, this is like what you could win. And then it had like all the different things you can do to, um, earn points, right? So that I have it for easy reference as I'm looking. So I put that at the very bottom. And so every time I'm adding, I'm adding it to the top of this email, right? So I start with just putting the incentive information in there. And then I kind of look, and I want to say a lot of people do this right when the incentive comes out, is I kind of look the the incentive at how you earn points and go, okay, realistically, like, what would I need to do per month in order to reach that goal? So for good vibes, you know, we were doing 20,000 points over five months. So it's like you'd have to break it over the five months and you'd have to do all this stuff. I really wanted to promote to Pink Plus Two during that incentive. That was a huge goal of mine because I had been a Pink Plus One for so long. And after three years with Posh, I really felt like I needed to be doing more. So... I put that into my plan as well, promoting to Pink Plus Two. Um, so, of course, that's not every month. You're not promoting every month. It's like once during the incentive. So I made sure to put that in there. So what I wrote down for that incentive is I had a whole incentive plan. And I put, this is what I need to do every month. And so I put, I needed to have $1,500 in PV myself which is not a small amount. It was a reach even for me. I had done some $200, $2,000 months, but it wasn't like all the time. I am a pretty consistent, well, now it's a little bit more, but back then, you know, between 500 and 1,000 PV was what I was averaging at that time as a pink plus one. Um, so 1,500 was a stretch. I was pushing myself a little bit with the incentive, right? Which is what you should be doing. That's the reason why we have incentives, right? So you can push yourself. So I had um, $15,000 a month in PV, $1,000 a month in frontline volume, which is a little bit of a push because I had a fairly small team. And that was every month. Right. And if I did that every month for the five months, that was already 10,000 points. That was only halfway there. Right. <laughs> and then I had two of those months to have two recruits. And rank advancement. Right. So then I had all these different things. And I think I may have had a little bit more. This is. I'm looking at it in hindsight, like more than a year after. So I'm trying to remember all the different things. I think it was more than that. Two months get two recruits. So four recruits total. I was like, that didn't look right, just two recruits. But yes, four recruits total. So over the five months. But I had to get them in the same month, like two and two, because there was a bonus with that one if you were able to hit it. It wasn't MA, like it wasn't the monthly award like it is for this one. But very similar, like if you got it in the in a single month, you got a bonus. So that's why I was doing it that way. Well, and, and I'm full disclosure, I'm going to post my actual numbers from the last incentive. Oh, let me back up a little bit. So then on top of that, where I had my plan for the incentive, I actually started listing, here's the list of all my potential recruits. Here is the list of all the people I need to follow up with from previous parties or, you know, like potential customers. Here's my list of potential customers. Here's my list of potential recruits. And I literally marked them off as I talked to them or did something. So for my potential recruits, thumbs up when they joined, if they joined. And I literally talked to people, y'all. I mean, so much. I know I've... Pat Sheehan has converted me with parties a little bit. I was not a party person um, back when I was doing this the, the previous incentive. I did some vendor events, um, but not really a lot of parties. But because of me working full time, 
I do a lot of texting. I do a lot of Facebook Messenger. Um, just directly. Yeah, all the scary stuff. Like, that's literally... But I was able to do that in between things and just when I had time, like during lunch. It worked well for me because it was very flexible as far as the schedule. But it is a lot of work. It is so much easier to do parties if you do the practice and get good at it. It does take a little bit of practice to be really good at it, but it's so much easier. <laughs> but it is very effective go reaching out to people to reaching out to people directly and talking to them. And it's super super scary, but you're just going to have to, especially when it comes to recruiting. You're not going to recruit anybody from posting things in your VIP, on your personal page, whatever. You're, you're just not going to. Even if someone sees it and they may be interested in joining, they're not going to take that scary step of reaching out to you because that's scary too. So they're just not going to do it. People won't unless you reach out to them first. So unfortunately, that's one of those things where you're kind of reaching out of your comfort zone. But I'll tell you what, if you're going to do it, an incentive is a time to really like do that and push yourself because it has a really big reward at the end. <laughs> so I did all that. And then I'm going to post my real numbers for you guys. And this is flip, so you're not going to see it. But I literally put each month and then um, what my actual results were for each month. Okay, so at the end of the month, I would take a little bit of time to reflect on that month. And again, this was like a five-month plan. So it was a little bit, you know, you really had to stick with it. But it's like, okay, you know, in November of 2019, I actually got close to $1,900 in PV, so that was better. My frontline volume was right where it needed to be, but I didn't get any recruits, right? So I had more PV, I had more frontline, no recruits. December, pretty much on track for the PV and frontline volume, but I got my two recruits because I had to double down. I didn't do well as far as the recruiting in November. So it's like, I got to do this. I have to have two months where I have two recruits, right? So did that. January, same thing. 